Hi guys, um, I pray you guys are having a wonderful holiday, that you had a Merry Christmas, and I want to wish you guys a Happy New Year. I want to talk to you very quickly about the different ways that God speaks to His children. People have been, uh, I've had people ask me, uh, when I talk to them and I tell them that God spoke this to me, they ask me, well, what does it sound like? How does God speak to you? Well, God speaks to us in different ways. He speaks to us through his word. As we read and meditate and study God's word, God will begin to speak to us through and teach us through his word. And it's like when we could be reading one night and might be going through something in our lives at that time, and God will take us, lead us to a passage in the scripture that will uh, aid us or help us through that situation. Um, he did that with me when he was teaching me about faith. He took me uh, to faith-filled scriptures that spoke about faith. And so he spoke to me through his word. Also, God speaks to us through, um, he speaks to us through visions. Um, some people have open visions. Um, he speaks to us through uh, the, the things, that, the way I see it is this is how I see things. God speaks to me through analogies and he gives me illustrations. And it just pretty much looks like to me that I'm fully aware of my surroundings, but at the same time, I'm, I'm viewing this picture that's like in my mind. It's like God is showing me a movie and he's explaining to me about a certain situation. So that's how God speaks to me through uh, types of visions. And he also speaks to us through dreams. God has spoken to me numerous times through my dreams. When we're asleep, we're in a still state. God can speak to us. We don't have all this noise going on around us. We're not busy like we are during the day. And at night, God can speak to us. And he does that through our dreams. He usually comes to me and gives me wisdom in the form of an authority figure in my life. It might be my mother. Uh, it might be a, um, a, uh, a, a boss. Um, it could be uh, a, fa a father. He speaks to me in... Uh, authority figures. He, that's how he speak. The Holy Spirit speaks to me. One time, I had a dream. Um, I was at a, I was in a, a office, and I was at a conference table. And there was people uh, sitting at the alongside a table, and I was sitting at the head of the table. And this man rose up. This big husky uh, black guy rose rose up, and I knew that he must have been a boss, or he must have been a person who was over the meeting. And he leaned over with his hands on the table he said looking directly at me well what do you think or feel that you will be doing in the next seven years and I said I will be teaching the word and singing the word and helping children and but first before I said that I told him I think first we have to go to God and ask God what does he want us to do and then after uh, I said that I went into I think that I'm going to uh, uh, be singing the word and reading and uh, teaching the word in helping children and the next seven years that is what I did so that was the Holy Spirit coming to me and aiding and guiding me into what I was going to do for the next several years of my life uh, another time he came to me was uh, he uh, spoke with, to me through the form of my mother. And uh, what happened was I was in a relationship with a guy for many years and I had become saved. But this guy was going to be a hindrance to my uh, walk with Christ. I can tell you he was. Um, and God, uh, in the relationship wasn't going anywhere. And so I had, uh, God came to me and spoke to me in a dream. And the dream was about me marrying this guy. And uh, I was looking for a wedding dress, and uh, I had a wedding dress. My wedding dress was delivered, but it was delivered from a funeral home. And then I went on into where we were going to have a wedding or reception. And when I got there, I went in, and I put my dress on, and I went out to my mom. My mom said, why do you, would you want a dress from a funeral home? Why would you want a wedding dress from a funeral home? And I knew that was God telling me, this that relationship is dead. It's not going anywhere. Is it a dead end? It's dead. Leave it alone and let it go. And I did. Praise God. And my walk with God continued and grew stronger uh, because God had spoke to me in that dream. Another time He spoke to me, I was in another situation where I was uh, also like sitting 
um, in front of a desk, uh, like I was in an interview with a um, with someone, with a guy, uh, another husky guy, and I knew he was the boss. And uh, we were talking, and uh, he was guiding and leading, directing me on some things with, uh, in my life. So God speaks to us through our dreams. Also, God speaks to us through other people in our lives. Uh, he will speak a word uh, of wisdom, a word of encouragement, uh, uh, a word of knowledge through people. Uh, he will also speak through prophets and prophetesses who will prophesy into our life and, um, and, says, and tell us what God uh, uh, wants us to know. And you will know a real prophet because it will come to pass. When a prophet gives you a prophetic word, you take that word, if it applies to your life, if it doesn't, you put it on a shelf and you wait for it to come to pass because you know a prophet if a tr is a true prophet if what they tell you comes to pass. Another thing, another way God speaks to us, he speaks to us through songs. Um, Many times I have been asleep and woke in the morning with a song in my spirit, a song in my heart. And I know it's God speaking to me through that song. Sometimes I'm not even thinking about the song. The song just rise up in my spirit. And, it, and I'm like, hmm. And it's God speaking to me through a song. He will speak to you through songs. He'll speak to you through books that you read. God speaks to us through so in so many different ways. God also speaks to us through our spirit. Um, and when you God speaks to you through your spirit, uh, it's like an inner voice. It's like a, uh, it bubbles up, and you know it's not you because you you you, you will know it's not you. Because it'll feel different. It'll feel, uh, it doesn't feel like something that you would say. So you know it's the hope, it's the Holy Ghost speaking. He speaks to us through our spirit. Um, and also he will speak to you through an audible voice sometimes. It's happened to me once uh, at night when I was in the bed and I was almost asleep and the Lord spoke in an audible voice to me. It was just like he was right in my ear. I heard so, he has a, and it was a heavy voice. And he gave me instruction of someone to pray for. Uh, I didn't know what was going on in that person's life, but it was an audible voice. And so I just wanted to come and do this uh, video because I know a lot of people uh, want to know what is it like? How does God speak to us? And those are some of the ways that God speaks to us. So. I hope that this uh, video has blessed you guys and uh, I want to say I love you guys and you guys continue to have a blessed holiday and the new year is going to be great. It's going to be a great new year and many great things are going to happen in the year 2012. I love you guys. Next time I'm coming back, I'm going to do a video on the Holy Ghost and how do you know when the presence of the Lord is, is here. Praise God. Love you guys. Bye-bye.